Welcome, it's Wednesday and I've got great news. I bought a CNC router. It's the Ooze Nest Workbee. It should be one meter by one meter. And today we're building the enclosure uh, and we'll build the, the router itself. So it's really exciting. I'm gonna use it for knife making, mostly for uh, creating the cases where I ship the knives in. It's now too much of a hassle and it's not enough quality. I want a real unpacking quality, uh, I want it to be an experience uh, and I might also use it for handles. So just uh, a quick overview, uh, let's get some distance, you could do a shop tour as well because it's usually changed. So this is uh, the frame actually, it's all steel, I welded it together, it was a bit hard to film so I didn't do that, I was afraid my lens and sensor might get damaged but we have uh, three compartments this one right here which is for the cnc then the compartment in the back it's gonna house a 3d printer then i'll get a work desk here in front where i control can control both machines and i will keep using it combined with the old swiss 70 year old milling machine so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a nice year so I just placed the wooden uh, board and now I'm going to screw it together that uh, it will dampen vibrations in the frame. You can see that the screws are in. I'm using these self-drilling screws. They actually have a little drill tip on the end and that allows them to drill their own holes in the steel. It works out really well. Roof is in as well. So, lights in place. Let's test it. Perfect. There's a lot of light on the workbench. And also, in the 3D print compartment, as you can see I already placed some walls uh, which shoot things dustproof. Also maybe keep in the sound. So it's finally time to start building. I unpackaged everything and everything is packaged it's perfectly, you know, drag chains and really care. Uh, I downloaded the latest manuals of the website. They also have one included. But uh, I'm gonna follow the website's version because they constantly update it. But uh, Let's get building. Finished. Another quick build update. So I'm really pushing forward, putting in the hours building this machine. It's quite straightforward, but now I'm getting to the leveling uh, and the squaring, which is uh, more difficult, but yeah, it's coming together. And uh, I really like it that it has these lead screws everywhere. They make uh, so much more rigidity, rigidity layer, I suppose. But uh, yeah, happy with the build so far. So here we are. I am a lot further with the machine. It was really hard to uh, and be focused on building it and keep filming. But uh, here's the rundown. Uh, yeah, this is actually the machine. So here's the spindle. It is water cooled and the water goes in through these water hoses. Here is the uh, power. So this is the VFD. This drives the spindle. This is the power for the duet board. on here um, and yeah it's uh, it's all working a bit so I actually homed it for the first time I still have some issues with par parallelism uh, I still need sliding doors and an emergency stop but uh, uh, cleaning up but no things are uh, progressing there is actually one thing with the with the workbee that I do not like and that is the motor control. 
So the work is powered by the Duet, which is a uh, actually a 3D print CNC PCB. It's a bit like an Arduino, uh, but it doesn't have any direct ports to control the engine. Uh, and the main issue is that because it does not have that direct port, uh, you're gonna have to do weird stuff. So you can actually control your engine from a fan pin, usually for a 3D printer there would be a fan inside. But now you plug your motor controller into it. You need to convert the signal from a digital to analog. And then you can, via the, the speed of the fan, you can control the speed of your spindle. But uh, Fusion doesn't know if Fusion wants to control a spindle, you want to control a spindle and not the fan. Uh, so you have that possibility, but that's difficult. And also, why not just make a proper port that you can hook up to the, the VFD? And also, which is really annoying actually, you can't turn on or off your motor. So if I'm going away for a sandwich or something, then the motor will keep spinning endlessly. Till I come back and turn it off. Well, I actually want it to turn on when you start the program and turn off when it's ready. So, yeah. But those are all things. For now, I'm gonna try to sketch something, which is supposedly the very first step you should do because it's safer and you don't crash it as much. So, uh, we're gonna try it. And this is something I can film. This is so cool, actually. I'm gonna home it. Home all, now it does the Z axis. So cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is sketch something right here. Uh, so the machine is homing right now. Um, what I did is I put a pen into the holder. Well, put it, I just duct taped it. Um, and what I hope is that it will sketch something. Okay, I'm gonna put the C axis down. I'm gonna call it. Zero. Zero, okay. Uh, y axis. Also gonna call that zero. Okay. And now I can upload and start the file. It's doing something! Z wasn't totally down yet, so I'm gonna start it over. Okay, so here's another funny story. Uh, I When I cancelled the job, it got back to home, and then I thought if I type in uh, G0, X0, Y0, uh, Z1, it will come back here, where it started. Uh, but it didn't, so I had to push the reset button again. Now it's home. But, uh, we're make the thing's moving, it's crashing, it's just a marker, you know, thing happens. So now I have it moving. It's moving, it's doing something. I've programmed it. Now I'm going back to feed ring it feed hold button. Hey voila! After weeks of building, I finally have a machine that can draw a perfect square. Sliding doors, so cool. But it really is that if you're doing a build like this uh, and you want to use it to uh, make production, yeah, then you should uh, gear up for production. So I actually installed these sliding doors. They're super nice, 
still have some tweaking to do. Polycarbonate glass, uh, but it will let me see the machine, but it will enclose off dust and noise uh, and also for safety. So yeah, cool, sliding doors. So on the inside a lot has changed as well. I put in the spoiler board. Uh, I put in the spoiler board that I'm going to flatten in a minute. And also put in my first workpiece. And I've been playing with the Z Touch Micro, uh, which allows me to set my tool length. So it's probably really going to happen. The first cut, just a couple of minutes. Okay, here it goes. First cut on the work VC and C machine. Starting the spindle. Okay, it's going good so far. Just pause the machine, it's going home now. And I'm trying to see if I can uh, attach the vacuum. That is a sort of first part finished. And I say sort of because I actually made an error in the G-code uh, and then the mill went from here straight up to there so that's the linking move but um, the machine seems to be working the layers are quite nice and uh, the surface seems decked so yeah don't know let's see if I can uh, hold some collets in it So before I end this video I'd like to give one more tour of how now I have my setup of the machine. It's running great uh, and it's actually quite simple in the end how it all works. So the CNC is uh, driven by the Duet controller. You upload files to it uh, but it has a web control where you can home it and where you can zero access, uh, put all offsets and also upload programs. It's uh, really intuitive, it's only for 3D printing, so sometimes you have some issues, but uh, yeah, it's quite clear on how it works. So here, on my laptop, is where I put in the code, and then it goes to the controller. So, here's the actual controller, it's the Duet. This is what controls all the steppers and the axes. Uh, and here I have the spindle, it's one and a half kilowatt from AliExpress. As you can see it's water cooled and the coolant tank is actually underneath there. And the wiring goes via that corner and also the uh, internet cable also goes from there. Uh, this is the power supply for the Duet, that's that one. And that one, that's the engine uh, VFD, it controls the spindle speed. Uh, and as you can see uh, I've actually been uh, installing a dust shoe which works great but I need to make it easier removable uh, and I've also been working on first real projects so these are oyster knife handles uh, this paduk wood it re nails really really nice some 3d printed clamps uh, and this is actually like the first part I did uh, where I really put uh, my mind up to the cam and it's actually quite simple uh, and I think everybody can figure it out I myself I'm a SolarWorks guy but I started on Wednesday did a cut on Wednesday and now on Sunday I was already capable of making this so 
Yeah, it's highly recommended and I think everybody can do this. So, well, there you have it. That's the build of my Workbee CNC machine. It's a screw different one uh, and I think it's a really good value for money machine. Uh, it takes some time to build. You can build it in around two weeks uh, in your spare evening hours. Uh, if you do a full enclosure like I did, you're going to be busy for a month. But uh, yeah, most is included in the package from Oosnest. They're really helpful. Uh, the quality seems great. I've just scratched the tur surface, but if you want to follow along, please subscribe. Uh, and I really think that uh, a machine like this adds a lot of value to my workshop. Where not only uh, I can do job shop, but I can also increase my flow of products. Um, because the machine is doing something while I'm uh, doing uh, the finishing work and the real details. And the machine can do the, the, the core stuff. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and see you next time.